I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Hey friends, what's poppin'? I hope y'all had a wonderful holiday and this is just gonna be a little get ready with me because I'm going to my grandparents' house tonight. I washed my hair last night and so I'm just gonna go in with the Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioner Spray from Cream of Nature. So I am wearing a wig today, so right now I'm just kind of getting into the, like the base of it. Y'all don't come for my base braids, this is just how I do it. It's really quick, fast, and very easy. And before you ask, I did dye my hair. My hair was orange, like when I had my braids in, but when I took my braids out, because I guess I had left them in so long, my roots were really starting to grow back, so I re-dyed it orange, like it was before. So what I did here was basically just did a nice and straight part down the front half of my hair, and then the rest doesn't matter because there's no part going all the way down the wig I'm going to put on. And then I'm just going to part my hair into three sections and so I can braid him down. Now I'm just taking out each section um, that I had parted it into and I'm braiding the first one and it's just going to lead into the second one and lead into the third one. In my opinion, this is like the lazy way of doing a French braid, but yeah. So now I'm really just going to repeat everything I did on the first side. I'm just going to do it on the second side. Just like I did on the first side. And I don't know if you could see it, but the bottom of the braid when I finished it, I just tucked it right under there because I'm going to get back to that part later. What in the world is going on here? So now I'm just grabbing my shining jam so I can lay my edges down because the wig is black and my hair is definitely bright orange and I just want to make sure all my edges are laid back so you can't see them when I have my wig on. So now I'm just putting a little bit of that free spray from Got To Be On There just to ensure that them edges are laid down, girl. We don't want none of the orange hair showing because the wig is black. And then I'm just going to put my scarf on just to make sure that everything is down and everything is tamed. I'm also using my toothbrush just to ensure that I get the things that my fingers couldn't get. So 
So now I'm going to go ahead and take off my scarf and you'll see me pull out the bottom ends of my braids. I'm pulling those out so that I can put them in a small little ponytail just to ensure that I'm getting as much pull as I can from the front of my scalp back so that none of my orange hair is showing when I put the wig on. And here is the wig. It's a 12 inch water wave 4x4. It's a water wave bob. I got it for Christmas and it's one of my favorite gifts, period. So being that my hair color is orange, I didn't use a wig cap just because that's about the color it would be if I put the makeup on the wig cap and everything like that and it didn't give me any problems so that's why I did that with no wig cap. So now I'm just kind of trying to figure out if I want a middle part or a side part and just trying to really position it on my head correctly. So I got it the way I wanted it, so I'm going to go ahead and push it back, and I'm going to get into the process of just gluing it down to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. So I'm going to use the got to be glue, and I'm going to place it only where the lace would stick down on the head. Um, I don't do, I'm not doing it all the way around because this is not an ear to ear lace. So I normally don't like getting got to be on my finger, so I just use the back of my toothbrush to just smooth it out. Now I'm just going to use my blow dryer and blow dry the got to be glue until it turns clear and I'm going to repeat this step once. And then I'm just going to take my wig and put the lace on the got to be glue. For this next part, I learned this trick from Andre Cavassier on Instagram, and basically he uses a small tooth comb and he combs it back while gluing the lace on there, just so that all the hair in the wig doesn't get caught up with the glue that you're gluing the lace onto, and it really gives a nice wet lace effect. See? Period. Wet lace. Okay? Okay. So now I'm just kind of fixing up the part and just making sure I have a part that I want and making sure it's straight, making sure none of the hair is stuck to the, the um, lace glue and everything like that. Now I'm just getting it a little bit wet to see if I like it where it is, but I'm not getting it completely wet. I'm just seeing if this is where I like the part and if I like it. So 
So now I'm just putting my scarf on just to wrap the edges so I can get ready to do my makeup. Now I'm just doing my eyebrows and definitely stay tuned. I have been getting a lot of questions about an eyebrow tutorial. Stay tuned and eyebrow tutorial will be posted soon. Okay, so I'm going to do the rest of my face off camera, back and better, period, and I'm looking good, period. So I know we did a side part earlier, but I think I'm really feeling this middle part. I'm normally not a middle part person, but I'm kind of feeling the middle part this time. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. This is the final look. See you later. Bye, friends.